Hey, Mr. C coming here with a safety tip today on our hand files and wood rest and uh, how to safely use them. There's one thing that I've seen uh, quite a bit of throughout industry and I know it gets done. I know people do this, but it's really kind of a bad idea. We always want to be thinking about what the safest, best way for us to work is when we're using any type of tool, whether it's a hand tool or power tool or piece of equipment. Um, so I last talked about uh, our hand files and the proper use and technique on how to use these. I got a couple of uh, uh, half rounds here that I'm looking at. Um, and more importantly, I also have uh, this flat file here, uh, the square file here, and this little rat tail file here. Now you'll notice there's a big difference between these. Size, of course, is one of them. But, uh, and size, doesn't really matter with these, they're still good tools. The problem here with these is these are good to use right now. I wouldn't really recommend using these. So these both have handles. None of these have handles. And I don't want to see uh, you using files in the shop that don't have a handle on them. There's a couple of reasons. That's a safety hazard. So, and handles come in a variety of different shapes and sizes as well. So I got these wood handles here and I got a plastic handle that's on that. Uh, usually you buy a file and a lot of times they have it. Uh, we can buy these wooden file handles uh, separately because a lot of times they fall off. Now, here's the hazard that occurs when you use a file like that. Let's say I'm using this rat tail uh, right here notice how I'm holding it. So notice exactly where it's going. So if for any reason uh, my hand slips or that file slips or the uh, grabs into the wood, that's going right there, right into my wrist. And it's going to make a nice big puncture. Um, of course, we've got a really, really important uh, uh, blood vessels and veins and stuff that are right in there in our wrists that are really important. So we definitely don't want to have an accident where we're puncturing ourselves right there. Um, besides the pain factor that's uh, in there, and I'm not big on pain. So, so don't use a file that does not have a handle. So I know I've done it sometimes in the past. It's not a smart idea. Uh, we want to practice good tool safety and good tool usage. So make sure you have a handle on all your files before you use them. Uh, you won't have to worry about that slipping and, and gouging in or cutting yourself in your wrist. Uh, and it's the safest way to use the tool. So. That's my uh, tool file safety tip here for today. So thanks for watching.